Miss Jean is going to do leaf casting for us today, right? Sort of. Sort of. She <laughs> says. All right, so we'll let you go ahead and get started. All right, leaf casting is a way to use concrete and real leaves to make your own garden art. Personalize it however you need for your garden. In my backyard, I have an area that I call a blue room. And on the ground is a large elephant ears. Elephant ears are the most commonly used mm -hmm. for leaf casting. Okay. And it brings together the blue uh, bird uh, bath and some other pieces of blue along with the uh, purple annuals that I put in that area every year. Then I've also used large elephant ears to make a three-tiered fountain. And nice. out front, where we lost a large pear tree, I kept the stump. And I used large elephant ears to create sort of a sculpture in that area. Um, you can use all kinds of leaves. Yeah. This is a large hosta leaf that I just painted That's last nice. night. This is a fatsia, a small fatsia leaf that I actually use in my, dine, uh, in my living room. Nice. This is another fatsia that I painted like a caladium and I use it in a pot with a, a pot full of caladiums and it really sets them off. This is actually four small hosta leaves together. So and I made it with a hole in the bottom so that I can put it on a stem, if you hole. will, and put it in a patch of colorful flowers. Again, it sets them off real pretty. Um, this is a, an arum. It's a winter leaf, and actually the only leaf I had that I could bring okay. today <laughs> well, for this demonstration. There, right? yeah. You can see. Yeah. the real and yeah. the painted. To do it, you start with a patch of sand. You need to have it uh, uh, wet so that you can form it. The mound and the depth of that mound is what determines the bowl in your, your plant. Once you've got your concrete formed, you cover it with a piece of plastic and then you put your leaf on it upside down so that you've got the veins showing at the top and then that's what creates the real pretty uh, uh, form in your in your leaf casting. Now once it's done, I'm not going to try to mix concrete today, that's a mess, <laughs> and when you're mixing concrete, when you're playing with that concrete and emptying the bag and everything, there's a lot of powder so you're sure. going to want to wear a mask. Safe, right. You're certainly going to want to have your gloves. The concrete that I use is concrete patcher. I generally get it in a 40 pound bag, so uh, you need to be able to handle a little bit of weight. And when you're using those large elephant ears, they're pretty heavy too. Some yeah, of them yeah. can be 75 to 150 pounds wow. once they really they're can. done. This is the way it looks after it has set for 48 hours. And as you can see, that edge is really, really rough, but as you can see, this edge is really, really smooth. And I get that smoothness <laughs> by using this multi-tool. Man, yeah. I go to town on them. Uh, but if uh, you're not that interested in that kind, that level of perfection, you know, sandpaper works uh, pretty well as well. I've used a hass also on okay. the page. Oh. Yeah, that'll work. And then to get that sheen now a lot of people so don't nice. like this this uh, the 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 shiny part some people just want it to be you know a flat color and that's fine too but if you want the sheen I use the metallic acrylic paint and I get all of these at Hobby Lobby I'm a regular mm -hmm. customer there <laughs> I also use something that's called Pearl X pigments this gives it a really, really nice sheen, uh, like stars shining on a dark night. Very, very uh -huh. nice. How about that description? Um, and once you've painted it, of course, you want it to last, especially if it's outside. So it needs a sealer. And I've used lots of different kinds. <laughs> what I have finally decided is the best is automotive enamel. Uh -huh. I mean, cars are outside all the time, yeah, so it smart. sort of stands yeah. to reason that this might be pretty good. Is that clear? Mr. Yes, it is. It's clear. Clear okay. coat. Okay. So that's what I use for sealer, but there are lots of other things okay. that can be used. And I have quite a collection of different <laughs> brushes. Uh, the large one I use to, to just splash on the back coat. Um, smaller ones for the different touches, like making the points. And for that feathery look, that I really like. 
I love these wide yeah, brushes. Sand brushes. Yeah, sand brushes. So uh, this is the sort of thing that can keep you occupied and away from your housework for days and days. <laughs> this master garden is so creative and artistic, huh? Yes, yes, that's they pretty are. good. It really is. That's pretty good. Thank you.